Oh, oh my gosh. Finally, I made it to the castle. Yes. Uh, oh. Halt. You cannot come in. Uh, why? I'm here to see the emperor. Get in line. So are all the other people. I can't find my goats. Where is our champion now, F? Listen. I just walked tons of miles, I'm sweaty, I want a chocolate bar, and I'm here to solve your lunatic and dragon problem. So let me in! Really? Why didn't you just say so? Come on in! Oh, really? It was that easy? No, but you're different. Somehow you can punctuate all of your sentences. So fine, you must find the Emperor first. He's probably somewhere in the garden. Oh, so should I go there? Yes, but since I do not have any punctuation, I have to make everything seem so dramatic. Well, isn't there something dramatic happening? I mean, there's a lunatic and a dragon on the loose. Alrighty, I'm off to the garden. Do 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 do. No! My petunia bush! You ruined it! Ah, uh, Easy, guy! It was an accident! I just tripped! Monster! You know nothing about gardening! Yeah, but that's irrelevant. Irrelevant! I should cut off your head! Gardening is the only thing that brings me peace! It represents life! It represents us! It represents humanity! Whoa! Well, I'm guessing from that crown that you're the emperor. Yes, I am! I am the exclamatory emperor! Well, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar, and I don't want to get into a full exposition. But just know that I'm here to find all the hidden punctuation marks and defeat your dragon. And yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. Excellent! No one's even gotten close. Except for Winifred. Poor Winifred. Ah! A man in a vinyl apron will save us all? What has the world come to? Yeah, 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 I get it. The world is melancholy and complex. Ooh, the world in darkness. Yada, yada, yada. I, listen, I get it. But I just really want to go home. And wait a second. You were talking in exclamatories. Oh, you have the exclamation point. Oh, yeah. Yes! Can I have it? No, you must prove yourself first. All right, fine. Tell me how to use an exclamation point. Grammar goodies. Today has me yelling. Why? Well, we're going to talk all about the exclamation point. So buckle up. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do a basket breaker. Uh-oh. Uh but before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button and download the free guided notes in the description box below. The guided notes and episodes have matching badges to indicate each section, so you can follow along with ease. Also, during each episode, underline any text that appears in red or a bold font to identify keywords and concepts. It's the shopping list that your mom always forgot to take to the grocery store. Whoa! <laughs> this week's basket breaker question is... What makes you emotional? Oh, what makes you feel your feelings? Oh. What did you get, Grammar Goodies? Here's my answer. What makes me emotional? Sloths! Sloths make me emotional. Ah, uh, and impending doom. Huh. Well, with that out of the way, I'm quite potched. 
So I think we should drink up some radioactive waste. Three, two, one. As stated, today is all about the exclamation point. But what is an exclamation point? Well, an exclamation point is primarily used at the end of interjections or exclamatory sentences to express strong feelings. Here's the cool thing. You'll see that an exclamation point is usually used with an interjection. And an interjection is a part of speech that expresses a strong emotion. And you place that exclamation point boom, right at the end of the interjection. Let's go ahead and look at some examples of interjections. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, interesting, yes, oh, interesting. Oh. Whoops. But hold up, grammar goodies. We don't just use an exclamation point with interjections. As stated before, we can use the exclamation point with different sentence types, especially with exclamatory sentences. As defined, an exclamatory sentence expresses strong or forceful emotions, such as anger, uh, surprise, and joy. Whoa! Also, an exclamatory sentence ends in an exclamation point to add emphasis. Keep in mind that a complete sentence has both a subject and a verb and makes complete sense all by itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of exclamatory sentences. Example, I won the raffle, yeah! Oh my gosh, yes, Dino, I did it, I won the lottery. I quit, forget this place, I'm out of here. I have millions, millions of dollars. Bah! I put a fake one in your wallet. <laughs> you actually thought you won. <laughs> I didn't win millions of dollars. Nope. What? <laughs> Just what? I can't believe you. <laughs> Example. No, I do not want to swim with dolphins. They're evil. No, don't make me do this. I don't want to go in the water. I don't care if I'm on vacation in Cancun. Don't make me go in the water with these dolphins. <laughs> Example. Her cat is out of control. have that down grammar goodies i know you do but i'm still a little confused so i think we should ask for some employee assistance oh so much grammar my head's gonna explode i don't know what to do i need help we need some employee assistance for this section here's what's gonna happen I'm going to read various sentences. Each sentence has zero punctuation marks in it. Oh, so what do you need to do? Well, your task is to punctuate each sentence. Really think about where you should put an exclamation point. Think you can do that? Punctuate each sentence? I know you can. And let's do it. Example. I was surprised he showed up on time. Ding dong. Oh, I didn't know it would be you. Oh, you're right on time. Usually you show up like an hour late, so I'm not ready this time. So go wait over there. Ew. Go ahead and punctuate this sentence.
it, Grammar Goodies. I know you crushed it. Here's the answer. We put in exclamation point at the end of this sentence because it's an exclamatory sentence. It expresses the emotion of surprise. And it adds emphasis right at the end with that exclamation point. Whoa! Example. I sneezed. Now I'm soulless. La 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 la. Ah, I'm dead inside. Go ahead and punctuate this sentence. grammar goodies? Here you go. There are two exclamation points that need to go into this sentence. First, the first exclamation point needs to go after sneezed, the first independent clause. I sneezed! We add that exclamation point in there to add emphasis to the action that's taking place. Then we, of course, have to put an exclamation point at the end of the second independent clause. That's right, right after the word soulless. So as you can see, we have two exclamatory sentences in this example, and both of them end with an exclamation point. Example, the gingerbread man is a cannibal. Ah, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> That's because he ate them. Help me! <laughs> Go ahead and punctuate this sentence. Alrighty, here's the answer. Well, this is an exclamatory sentence. So where are we going to go ahead and put that exclamation point? Oh yeah, we're going to go ahead and put it at the end of the sentence. That helps create emphasis on the whole situation, the shock, the awe, that the gingerbread man is a cannibal. Whoa! So the correct answer is putting an exclamation point at the end of this sentence. Example. Our pilot has vertigo. Oh. oh my gosh, can he even fly this thing? We're spinning around. Whoa. I'm okay. Oh. Go ahead and punctuate this sentence. Grammar goodies, what did you get? Well, at first glance, you probably think that this is a declarative sentence, which it could be. However, let's go ahead and put an exclamation point at the end of it to make it an exclamatory sentence because it expresses shock, surprise, oh, even worry because the pilot has vertigo. <sighs> Getting all the dizzies. So, we're going to go ahead and put an exclamation point at the end of the sentence to make it an exclamatory sentence. Think you have this down, Grammar Goodies? I know you do. So it's time to go ahead and put you to the test with an I'll check. Pop, pop. Excel chick, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and challenge you to create an original exclamatory sentence. Think you could do that? Write an original exclamatory sentence? I know you can. And don't forget to go ahead and spice it up by adding a couple of interjections into it. So, what are you waiting for? I want to go ahead and read your exclamatory sentences. 
So get to it! sentences turn out grammar goodies. I bet they're absolutely fantastic. But for right now, let's go ahead to my least favorite parts of the evening, which is checking out. Oh, look at the time grammar goodies. All this talk about the exclamation point has me going whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for dropping by General Grammar. And come in anytime. I'll see ya. Whoa! Excellent job, young hero. Thanks, Emp. Here's the exclamation point. You got a yeah. mark. Now go to the throne room and talk to my wife. However, she is quite quizzical. You're not going with me? No, my dear hero. Gardening is the only thing that brings me peace. Fare thee well, Emperor. Thou wast the Emperor. Farewell, Emperor. Oh. Oh. Oh.